how are you doing? My name is Diane and this is How to Train Your Caterpillar, a spiritual life coaching channel. And you're very welcome here. Thanks for checking out the video and the channel. Preached muchly. Um, this is going to be a video, a quick one if I can, <laughs> about um, like a sort of cheat sheet beginner guide to using crystals because a few people have asked me so I thought I'd just make a quick one. I actually wanted to make this like months ago but once again I got distracted. You can actually see there's a bucket down there just I don't know if you can see it. I'm not just being slovenly like there's a leak in the ceiling that started on Christmas Day. So you could take that personally if you wanted. I chose not to take it personally because there's usually a lesson behind these things. There's like a lesson or a reason behind it. Right? Like spirit doesn't just punish you for no reason. There's always a lesson behind it. Um, so that's what I'm trying to take away from this at the moment. Um, I'm actually using a particular crystal to try and help keep me calm at the moment. This is, I think it's grey agate. I'll look it up so I can make sure. But yeah, grey agate. It's good for, um, I'm just keeping it in my pocket. It's good for focusing the mind and trying to, you know, like mental clarity so that you can know what to do next, right? So you can like not have like a fear overload and just keep, you know, like, okay, so what do I need to do? I need to do this, 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 and this, right? Because obviously as well, it's during the holidays, so like nobody, nobody, nobody wants to come out. Um, I did get a roofer to come out, but he, I don't know, he seemed like, super stressed by the time he left, so I don't, know, I don't know. I don't know if he's ever going to come back. Maybe I stressed about it, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that's why that's there. But yeah, that's that's what this video is going to be about. So, um, also, you know, if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. I'd appreciate that a lot. And I'm taking personal life coaching, spiritual life coaching sessions at the moment as well. If you would like to work with me, I'd love to work with you. The link will be in the description box. So I'm gonna put up a picture of the chakras here. I know I'm always going on about the chakras, but seriously, if you wanna do shadow work, like to improve your life, if you're looking for a place to improve your life and you don't know where to start, chakras are where you wanna start. Meditation and chakras, because the chakras are really, they're super important. They're the energy centers that make up your body and give you a place in the universe. They store emotional damage. They can heal the body. So if you're looking for a place to start with shadow work and self-healing, chakras are a great, great place to start. <laughs> um, that's what I always come back to. Like that's, these are my go-to. So I'm gonna put a picture up here. Um, obviously we have more chakras than this, but when people talk about the chakras, these are the seven main ones that they're referring to. So as you can see, um, each chakra resonates with a different color. So if you are new to crystals and you're like, I don't know what to get, it's all so overwhelming, there's so many different ones, um, the best thing to do is to look up the chakras, figure out which one or which ones you believe would be beneficial for you to work on to solve your problem, whether it's like emotional, something that's happening in your, in your life, um, you know, even money problems can be worked on with the chakras, things like this. Um, figure out which chakras it is you need to work on. And then you can see, you know, they resonate with different colors. So buy crystals of that color, if you see what I mean. So, for example, if you were finding that you have a lot of problems with um, self-confidence, maybe even like a little bit of listlessness, depression, you don't know which way to go, you struggle to make decisions, you lack personal power, you lack motivation. Um, that's a solar plexus chakra issue. That's what I would say, that's the first thing to go for. So you can see the solar plexus is yellow. So um, any yellow crystals that you buy are gonna be beneficial for your solar plexus chakra. So like um, yellow citrine, pyrite, any yellow crystal that you can that you can get your hands on is going to help your solar plexus chakra. Um, if you have problems with being kind of shy, being socially anxious, standing up for yourself, asserting your boundaries, asserting your needs, um, maybe you're trying to do something 
you know, like start a YouTube channel or write a book or you want to get into like upper management or something like this, um, maybe you have a big speech that you need to do and you're looking to get more confidence, that's a throat chakra issue. So that would be blue, okay? So you can get any blue crystal and it will help balance your throat chakra because that's what you're looking to do because your chakras can either be too open or they can be closed. So if you're having a lot of trouble with social anxiety, shyness, this generally is coming from a blocked throat chakra. So you need to get blue crystals involved so that you can open it, you can balance it, okay? Um, on a side note, so the, the chakras aren't actually, they don't actually have any colour. If you look at um, like ancient texts from India where like the chakras first originate from, like knowledge of the chakras, they first originate from India. If you look at the texts, um, sorry, um, if you look at the text, the chakras don't actually have any colour, but the, there was colours assigned to the chakras, I think in the 1960s, but I can't remember who did it. But basically, each colour resonates at a certain frequency. The chakras are balanced by frequencies, okay? So you can use sound healing to balance them, but you can use colour, okay? So like, for example, the solar plexus chakra, you know, it resonates at the same frequency as the colour yellow, so you can use yellow to balance it. So you can use yellow crystals, if you see what I mean. I just thought that was interesting. I found that out a few months ago and I was like, huh, god damn, that's interesting. Um, I also been carrying a piece of malachite as well, just because uh, it helps balance the heart chakra. Uh, it's good for bringing in cashola. I don't know. I just like malachite as well. I just think it's a cute crystal. It's just a cool color. So ways to use the crystals once you've decided which ones would be beneficial for you. You can just carry them on your person. You can sleep with them under your pillow. You can meditate with them. You can just hold them in your hand while you're watching TV or like while you're meditating. If it's a money thing, you could even put like a money related crystal in your purse or your wallet. Uh, you could fit, if you wanted to go a step further, <laughs> um, I don't know if this actually works, but you can figure out which corner of your house is your money corner according to Feng Shui. I think it's the southeast corner. Uh, you can figure figure out where that is and put some money, shove some money crystals in there, can't hurt, right? <laughs> um, ironically, malachite is quite expensive. You know, it's like if you're, if you're looking for saving money, you're like, oh, isn't this like counterintuitive? I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, that's really how you use them. It's really, really just a, a case of kind of figuring out which ones you think are going to be best for you and then just incorporating them into your life, carrying them around, loving them like they're your little pets. Um, more generally speaking, in terms of crystals, there are some decent ones to have around that are kind of a good starting off point. Selenite, for example, is a very high vibrational crystal. Um, it will help balance your third eye, it will help balance your crown chakra, and it's self-cleaning. So I use it to clean my tarot cards, like I have quite a few pieces of selenite. You'll see it if you if you watch pick a cards, like uh, readers often have like a big chunk of selenite like at the top of the pick a card because it helps them channel, you know, it helps clear the crown, the crown chakra for channeling messages. Um, but I use it to clean my tarot cards and the thing is because it's self cleaning, you can use it to clean your other crystals. That's something to remember, like crystals, they're alive. You know, so they they carry emotions with them, okay? So like for example, if you were to use like a heart chakra healing crystal like malachite, you know, if you have like you know, I would say most people do, if you have um emotions in your heart chakra that are to be cleansed so it can be balanced, remember you'll have to clean your crystals. Otherwise you're just kind of carrying around negative emotions, which is not what you want. Um, you can also use, if you're looking to protect yourself, like to protect your energy, black crystals are particularly good for that. So, say, I don't know, say you're kind of um, working in a hostile environment and there's like a lot of bitchy people around, it might be beneficial for you to carry a black crystal for protection. Um, black tourmaline is really good for that, obsidian is really good for 
uh, protection <clears throat> just uh, carrying it around or having it you know on a chain or something like that I used to always have a piece I don't feel like <clears throat> excuse me I don't feel like I need it so much anymore because I'm not around that type of energy now you know which is fantastic um, but yeah I used to wear it all the time but if you're gonna have a piece like that remember to take it out and clean it at the end of every day because you're just carrying around heavy energy that you don't need right um, yeah that's kind of all I really wanted to say because it's really just meant to be like an introductory guide like I said like a sort of cheat sheet um, you really can't go wrong with uh, crystals around but generally speaking if you want to oh, just on a, a quick side note if you want to open your third eye and your crown chakra you want to go for like purple or white crystals tend to be very good for that um, amethyst is really good for like your third eye and your crown chakra um, selenite like I said so yeah that's the video um, I'm gonna leave it there because uh, like I said it's just supposed to be an introductory guide but if anybody has anything that they want to add in the comments like about you know specific crystals that they think are useful that you want to make recommendations for other people I'm sure um, people would like that there's also one that I use it's it's called red jasper and it's often known as the warrior stone so if you are kind of going through a lot and you feel like you don't have a lot of support and you've got a lot of shit to get done it's useful to carry a piece of red jasper because it kind of gives you strength courage to like you know get through the next thing and like do what needs to be done yeah <laughs> so that's the video i hope it was useful thank you so much for watching um don't forget to like and subscribe for me and uh, as always i wish you many blessings love and light take care mm -hmm.